Hello everyone, I am Amwaj and my work is in supporting people with Down syndrome and their families. I would like to start with an acknowledgement. People who have Down syndrome should be acknowledged as a person first and foremost. Now let me introduce you to my lucky charm and inspiring sibling for us. He is born with Down syndrome, which is a genetic condition that affected his physical characteristics, cognitive abilities and overall health. This condition made him so unique and need more intensive care, family attention, and a guided effort to help his growth. But he is not alone. In Saudi Arabia, the occurrence percentage has exceeded the global rate. Down syndrome's estimated incidence is approximately 1 out of 550 births. Many families are sharing the same experience. One of the most challenging tasks for families with Down syndrome is navigating support. It is a very complicated and tangled situation that I have lived in myself and been investigating and learning in depth during my thesis journey from a system thinking lens. The support provided for families with Down syndrome is coming from four primary resources. First is healthcare system, where the family gets the news about the child's condition and start the journey of uncertainty. Unfortunately, the healthcare system contributes to making this phase a hard one because of the lack of training on preparing the family for such news. Second, most services are provided under the Ministry of Social Development Regulation. They are often charities and non-profits, neither consistent nor sustainable, making the family frustrated and concerned about the quality of their services. Third, formal education for people with cognitive disabilities is provided by the Ministry of Education and it is still figuring its shape. Lastly is community support, which appears in two layers. One is the community of families with Down syndrome, where they mainly communicate over WhatsApp to keep connected. The second layer is the larger Saudi community, where awareness and acceptance contribute to the family's well-being. These four bodies are mainly working in silos, but recently there have been efforts from nonprofit organizations to influence government structures and private practices. Also, the community of families is trying to be vocal about their unmet needs, demanding formal education and career opportunities. Now you can imagine how overwhelming it can be for families in this situation. In working with such a vulnerable community, I had to build trust over time, showing my devotion and commitment every time I show up. In the research phase, I was driven by the question, how might we create channels for the community of families with Down syndrome to feel supported in Saudi Arabia? To answer this question, I have collaborated with Himam, my community partner. It is a non-profit organization supporting families with disabilities by providing consultations and support programs. I have reached more than 10 families. They are my guidance in doing the work. I have been co-creating my intervention with five families. In addition, I found it very important to reach out to entities doing similar work to get insights from their practices. Meeting people working in the space had helped me to find the gaps and opportunities to support the community of families. From over 10 online interviews, 7 co-creation sessions, 2 prototypes, and another research activities, I have found that there are many efforts in helping and supporting people with Down syndrome and their families, but the need is still massive. Also, I found that families are eager to see their children with Down syndrome participating and practicing life and engage with their surroundings as typically developed kids. Here I found an opportunity to fill a gap in the current support system. What about bringing joy to families? What about spreading hope and motivation among families? What about concentrating on people with Down syndrome's abilities? What about raising the Saudi community's awareness of Down syndrome? These will lead to families feeling supported, proud, and eager to foster the children's growth, which will help the manifestation of my theory of change greater goal to increase the integration of children with Down syndrome with the society in Saudi Arabia. So here is my intervention, kind. Kind translated in Arabic, طيب, 
which also means I am very well. It is a platform that creates a culture of celebrating people with Down syndrome's abilities through the arts. It provides diverse art programs, workshops, and engaging online activities and challenges that show the local Saudi community how awesome and creative people with Down syndrome can be. From the first day publicly, KIND has invited the community to create its visual identity through a call out for art. I have received loads of support and praise. Families were happy with sharing and celebrating their children's art. And I got 11 participants with many drawings over the week. Then I shared back to the community through a series of posts on Instagram over three days. As you can see in the slide, KIND has incorporated the drawings in its visual identity. KIND got lots of mentions, thanks messages, and repostings from families. Among many great responses, Faisal's mom said, thank you for making the space for my child's art. This activity is so great. So how does KIND work? KIND will facilitate art and skill-based workshops for people with Down syndrome and create space for the community to gather. Each workshop will be designed with learning goals for the participants. Then. KIND will leverage its website and social media to celebrate the participants' art and shed light on their skills. And to the larger Saudi community, KIND will contribute to raise awareness about the community of people with Down syndrome and honor their abilities. And this is exactly what KIND did in its first workshop, Welcome Ramadan Workshop. Ramadan has a great value in the Saudi culture. It is the month of religious rituals. With the help of a team of volunteers, an artist, three organizers, Abdrahman and I, we created cozy, joyful experience for the kids and their families. KIND facilitated a drawing together workshop themed by welcoming the holy month. We started the session by introducing the paintings shapes and colors to get them excited. Then kids started painting following the artist's instructions. Meanwhile, families were having exciting conversations with much laughter. After a while, families got excited and asked me to join their kids. I happily welcomed them and here the fun started. They were having so much fun talking to each other and cheating their kids to finish the drawings nicely. This emergent act had me think of doing family duets art workshop next time. In current social media, we created a virtual after party, posting photos and videos of the two hours workshop with comments and mentions for our community. Day after the workshop, I got this message from Tahani's mom, one of the participants saying, thank you for last night. Today after iftar, Tahani changed her clothes saying, mom, let's go to colors. She was laughing the whole night and got up excited the day after. Hope you continue this work and we get to do this again. For Tahani, Tahani's mom, to my brother and all the families who want a spark of hope, KIND will grow and continue celebrating its community. Soon, it will include more arts. It could be a two months music class that produces musical show people can attend. KIND could offer a barista class that fund a pop-up cafe run by incredible people with Down syndrome. KIND could prepare a poetry workshop and arrange a poetry night. I will happily work on this project beyond my thesis, grow the team, find collaborations, do fundraising, and with the community we build the future of KIND. Thinking in details of the sustainable plan, KIND has many directions where it can grow and continue to serve the community. I will work on fundraising and financially sustaining KIND's activities, programs and workshops, leveraging presentation materials and making a statement to the world. KIND will have collaborations built on mutual benefits with the help of community places, volunteers and donors. Working on capacity building, I will equip myself with the practices needed to carry the work forward, such as trauma and for design, special need training, and social impact management. KIND will measure its impact by how many smiles it creates and for how long it will keep these smiles up. Thank you.